I, you know, grew up sort of in the all-American family. I had a, a wonderful mother and father, an older brother, younger sister, and, you know, frankly, I really had all the best pieces of a small town upbringing. I mean, I had unconditional love from my mother and very, very high expectations from my father. Unfortunately, my mother passed away suddenly um, from a heart attack when I was 17. And that had an impact as well because it really kind of drove me to an even greater independence than I already kind of had from just a great upbringing. Well, Hala is an incredibly accomplished businesswoman, but there's more to her than just her accomplishments. Hala is, she's real, she's genuine and authentic. She also is unique. She really stands apart from so many business leaders. Um, she's a mom, she's a wife, she's really close to her family, and she's a really good friend. Well, I've actually been very fortunate in my career to have a couple of times at least that the brands that I took over as president uh, really kind of needed to be revitalized. There needed to be a bit of a transformation there. I took over, you know, the little brand, Church's Chicken. It was about 1,500 restaurants in 15 countries, and they hadn't been proud of who they were for a while. And so, you know, we just kind of got the employees energized, the franchisees energized, and the next thing you know, the sales are taking off, and we're having a lot of fun, and we're being true to who we are as a brand, and it really, really makes a difference. Well, it really is an honor and a privilege to get to be not only a CEO and president of the Metro Chamber, but to be the first woman. I'm a huge fan of Atlanta, and I've always been a big promoter, and so to be able to get to do this job and uh, try to grow our economy and have everybody be able to hopefully be lifted up when we when we grow the jobs and when we improve quality of life, it's, it's really a privilege. I was very fortunate to go through Leadership Atlanta in 1997, and that really kind of sets you up for civic nonprofit boards in Atlanta, because if you're gonna be part of the business community in Atlanta, sort of the Atlanta way is to also to be a part of the nonprofit community. Kayla's passionate about a lot of things, uh, but she's particularly passionate about women and business. And I think it's her life mission, actually, to make sure that there are more women in C-suite and on boards because, and I agree with her, the only way to affect change is to affect change. One of the reasons that I was so pleased to be able to take on the role at Susan G. Komen for the Cure is because I am a breast cancer survivor. I love the idea of making sure that people know that you can certainly thrive during and after breast cancer, that there are many, many, many survivors and thrivers out there. So I was really just pleased to have that opportunity. There's a new study out called The Confidence Gap, and it really got my attention because what it says in there is that men, in general, will take a job, put their hand up for a promotion, if they have around 60% of the competencies needed for a job. But conversely, women want to have almost 100% of those competencies before they'll raise their hand or take that promotion. So I really want to make a point for women you can do more than you think you can do, absolutely. And I would also say, you can have it all. And sometimes people like to say, you can have it all, just not at the same time. The fact of the matter is, you, you can have what's right for you. And I just say to any young woman, take the risk and don't think you don't get to have a great family while you're doing it.